Javante Tank Davis says he wants all the smoke, and we getting ready to talk about that right now. This is Power Grind Sports, where we are dedicated to the grind and dedicated to you. That's why we do what we do. We talk about the biggest names in sports and entertainment. This is what's hot in the world of sports, encouraging you to turn your dedication into domination. I'm giving positive energy and information. This is certified hip-hop, sports motivation, and entertainment. Okay, Javante Tank Davis sent so many shockwaves through the world of boxing with a stunning eighth round knockout over Frank the Ghost Martin. Now the undefeated WBA lightweight champion has a clear message for all challengers. Yeah, you heard that right. Tank Davis coming off a eighth round knockout victory over Frank Martin is ready to take over the world. He is trying to take it to a whole nother level. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now he's undefeated, like I've already said, perfect record. 30 wins, no losses, 28 knockouts. And he is aiming for everybody. I was looking at the press fight post conference, right? Post fight press conference. Now, they asked, who do you want to fight next? They asked that to Tank. And Tank said he want to fight all of them. Look, they were naming people, too. They were like Devin Haney. They were like Shakur Stevenson, um, Vasil Lomachenko. They were just throwing names. He was like, all of them. I won't smoke with everybody. That's what he said. You know what I'm saying? Now, they specifically mentioned Vasil Lomachenko, the IBF champion, and Shakur Stevenson, the WBC champion as potential targets for Javante Tank Davis. Now, I'm he was reflecting on his fight with Martin, right? And he was just talking about having patience, right? You know, because he was talking about Martin. He was like, Martin was throwing a lot of punches and he knew that Martin would tire out. So he said that his game plan was to let Frank Martin exhaust himself and then start to break him down. And hey, that's how it worked. You got what I'm saying? Now the knockout came in a dramatic fashion. Javante Tank Davis landed a menacing, crushing left hand that sent Frank Martin to the floor. But he set it up with an uppercut. So he hit him with an uppercut and then he smashed him with that left. Oh my God, when Frank, Frank was falling in slow motion to the canvas. And when Frank hit the canvas, then his head hit the canvas. And I saw Frank Martin trying to get up, but he could not get up. And man, it was something to see. It was complete brutality do you understand what i'm saying so everybody in the boxing community in the world are looking ahead but javante dank davis he remains focused on success you know what i'm saying he was very humble during the win you know because he even said that his job is not done so i hey, i can't celebrate too much because hey i gotta get it i gotta get up here and do it again he was expressing that he did not enjoy the sport of boxing. I don't know if people will read him between the lines, but I was reading between the lines. He was like, look, man, I got I, my job ain't done. You know, I can't celebrate too much. I got to get up here and do it again. You know, and, and he kind of said that he didn't like getting up there and talking about, you know, and then thinking about what, what could happen to him and what he could do to other people. He said he don't enjoy that. So I just, I thought that was really telling it just showed a part of his character that you really do not see with Javante Tank Davis because he don't really let he's a private person so he don't really let you know what's going on in his mind but he did that day you got what I'm saying so I respected that but hey leave in the comment section who do you think Javante Tank Davis um, is gonna fight next after defeating Frank the Ghost Martin with a great eighth round knockout, improving his record from 30 wins, I mean, two 30 wins with no losses. It's crazy this dude got 28 knockouts. That is ridiculous right there. Yeah, I would say, oh, if you do make it 
um, past, um, you know, if you make it to a decision and and, and Javante Tank Davis wins, man, I, I see that as a win. So I see why Pitbull is so happy to that he lost to Javante Tank Davis because, man, not many make it to the end of the bell. You feel what I'm saying? Now, Javante Tank Davis, his journey underscores the importance of staying focused on your goals and never becoming complacent. Never becoming complacent. I, I, I totally want to encourage you to embrace achievement. Never become complacent. Never get satisfied with what you got now. Continuous improvement always has to be your goal. And I'm telling you, you can persevere. You got greatness living inside of you. I'm telling you, man. But when I think about Javante Tank Davis, this victory is a testament of the power of perseverance and just planning. You know, so no matter what kind of challenges you've got in your life, no matter what type of setbacks, you got greatness inside of you. Even if people are telling you that you don't have greatness inside of you, I want you to believe in yourself even when nobody else believes in you because you have greatness inside of you, but you got to activate your greatness. You got what I'm saying? In light, you know, in science, they got um, potential energy, you know, and kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is energy that's in motion and potential energy is energy that's standing still. So don't be potential energy. You got to be kinetic energy because everybody has the potential to be great. But you got to turn that potential energy into kinetic energy. So you got to go out into the world and be great. Do you feel what I'm saying? But hey, leave your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think's next for Tank Davis? Hey, what do you think is next for Frank Martin? Hey, I would definitely would like to know. Leave your thoughts in the comment section. This is Power Grind Sports reminding you to turn your dedication into domination. Get out here and start dominating. And hey, take over the world, but stay on the grind. I'll talk to you later. Peace.